Hey guys, it's Nicole from Revo PT and Sports Performance. Today we're going to be talking about what happens after you rupture your ACL. Do you get surgery or do you go with conservative care? This brings up the topic of being a coper or a non-coper. Now, a coper is someone with a ruptured ACL who is able to return to their prior level of activity or sport without experiencing instability or giving away of the knee joint. A non-coper is someone who is not able to return to their prior activity level due to experiencing instability or giving away of the knee joint and therefore undergoes surgery. We are so concerned about this instability of the knee joint and giving away because if we are experiencing instability over time, um, there's increased shear forces on that knee joint and it can lead to uh, faster breaking down of the articular cartilage leading to early onset osteoarthritis. So the primary issue here of determining who is a coper versus a non-coper after a ACL rupture is can you return to your prior activity level without this instability? Now the challenge is there is no criteria or algorithm that we can follow that will determine if you are a non-coper versus being a coper. So what we do know through research is that surgery doesn't always guarantee you a positive outcome and return to prior level of function and conservative care doesn't always guarantee you a positive outcome and return to prior level of function and because of this this makes it very challenging for people to determine what to do because there is no clear direct route of if I follow this I'm going to be able to go and play this sport do this activity in this amount of time it's really patient dependent, the timeline looks different for everyone, um, and because it's so varied, it's really important to get um, as much education and information that you can before making the surgery versus non-surgery decision. So there are a few group studies that really dive into this COPER versus non-COPER discussion, one of those being the Norwegian group study. And what they did is they took 125 people with ACL injuries and had them participate in jumping, cutting, pivoting activities, as well as lateral sports like tennis, skiing, um, and tried to categorize these people into copers and non-copers. And what they found was really interesting. So they found that the people that were put into the coper group, 60% of those ended up being true copers and never ended up getting surgery. Um, and this was one year at a one year follow-up from their original screening. Um, of the people put into the non-coper group who originally at the beginning of the study were determined that they would need surgery, 70% of those people actually became copers. So 70% of the people that are originally going to get surgery went through a rehab program and no longer went through with surgery and had great outcomes. Now, the people that did end up being true non-copers and getting surgery they reported excellent outcomes one year after surgery. So the big takeaway I want you guys to remember is that surgery is not the only option. Yes, we can get good results with surgery, but a lot of the research shows that we can get very similar good results with conservative care. Anna here at Revo Physiotherapy and Sports Performance, she re-tore her ACL and has been going through a conservative care program and is able to return back to running at this point without experiencing any instability. So I put her more into that COPER category. Keep following along with those videos to see what the, the end outcome is for her. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.